guys, it's hard to come back after such a long time off, regaining, regaining their win, things like that. You seem to have it going tonight. Um, is it a matter just because you're really young and got a lot of energy, or did you feel that at all? Other guys, even Avery said the other day he really felt his legs. What was it like for you being out there and contributing? Uh, it felt amazing, first off, to just, you know, get back out there with my teammates. You know, it's always hard to, you know, to deal with the injury um, and sit out and, and watch, especially, you know, when the guys are out there on, on the road, you know, and really just giving it their all. So um, it just felt amazing to get back out there. Um, while I was out, I tried to, you know, keep up with my conditioning and, you know, make sure I, I stay in my Miami Heat shape. Um, and, you know, I just felt good out there. Like I said, just being out there was was amazing. I had a lot of energy and, uh, you know, a lot of adrenaline to, that just took over. It's such a crazy time. I mean, Avery comes back finally after two weeks and then he's back out again. All of a sudden we find out Andre has neck spasms. I guess they're going around and he couldn't play today. What's it like for the guys in the locker room that all you want to do is be whole and you simply haven't gotten there yet? Thank you. Yeah, um, you know, it's, a, it's all a process. We're just continuing, you know, day by day to just, like you said, you know, hopefully we know eventually one day, whenever that day comes, we will be, you know, at whole again. Um, but, you know, it's just, like I said, a process every day of us learning, you know, just continuing to grind at it and continuing to, you know, really stick together and just continue to, to get better every single day. Um, you know, there's, you know, lots of ups and downs throughout the season and, you know, you got to enjoy the highs as much as you or you got to enjoy the lows as much as you can, you know, enjoy the highs. So, you know, it's time for us to just continue to lock in and keep going at it. Up next, we have Anthony Chang. Hey, Tyler, I know the last time we spoke with you in Philadelphia, you, you know, the injury, you thought it would be a quick recovery and it was minor. What, you know, how painful was it? And were you surprised with how long it took for you to get over it? Yeah. Um, I mean, at first I thought it was just like a, you know, something I had slept on my neck wrong or something, but I guess, you know, the way my neck was responding, it it didn't allow me to go out there and play. Um, you know, every time I, you know, turn my head, I had some pain in this area. So I'm glad I'm back. Um, I'm just going to continue to to get treatment at it and continue to, to get better. Um, next, we have Kari Jones with a uh, Los Angeles Sentinel. What's happening, Tyler? You know, you got you got a lot of people that's you know got a lot of expectations on you to be part of that young core of elite talent coming up. You know, can you elaborate on what you know what kind of expectations do you have for yourself as a player? Uh, yeah, I just you know I want to come in first off and just stay healthy. You know, and just be able to come out here every day and just be reliable for my teammates. You know, my coaches. That's you know really all I'm worried about is being able to come out here and. And just be out there on a nightly basis and be able to compete and you know contribute to winning. Um, I feel like you know we lost tonight, but we continued to you know take steps in the right direction, and that's that's all that matters for for me personally. Um, you know I'm just trying to get help this team you know get back on track. You know we we are talented and you know we are one of the best teams in the East. I'm telling you we can we can do some things special. This group is 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 good in this locker room, and you know we're gonna we're gonna figure it out soon. Thanks. Um, next, we have Cristo Saltas. Hello, Tyler. Welcome back. I would like to ask you, how you evaluate your return tonight? And uh, what was the biggest lesson for you for, about uh, the tonight's game? Um, biggest lesson for me, I think, is just, <clears throat> I told the team after, you know, I think we just need to continue to to strive to play, you know, a full 48 minutes. Um, I feel like we're having lapses throughout uh, throughout some of the games where, you know, we, we look good, and then there's other times where, it's, you know, we don't look like ourselves. So I think it's just, we you know, I don't know if we get bored with with what's working or what, but, you know, I just said, you know, we need to figure out how we can, you know, play a complete 48 minutes, and, you know, eventually that's how we will become, you know, the Miami Heat basketball team that we are. Uh, next we have Tim Reynolds. Tyler, I missed the first couple of minutes, so I apologize if you were asked something similar, but obviously Jimmy and Avery were out you know, because of the protocols, you were out w with an injury. When, when guys are out and you can't contribute and these losses keep piling up, how much more, how much, how much tougher does that make what you were going through? Because, you know, you know that if you guys were all out there, this thing might look a lot different, but you couldn't be. How frustrating was all that on top of just being hurt? Yeah, it is very frustrating, you know. Um, 
you know, we're always caught up in, you know, just control the things that you can control. And sometimes you can't control those, you know, the Corona thing where, you know, we had a, all the guys that were in Boston had to go home. You know, we couldn't control that, you know, and, you know, my injury, obviously nothing that I can control with that. So it's just, you know, different things that, that we don't have control over. Um, and with this crazy time and, and, you know, the time that we're living in right now, this is, you know, what it is. And who knows, there could be something else that pops up tomorrow or next week in two weeks. So we just got to continue to, you know, stick together as a team, you know, with the guys that are, you know, able to play and, you know, we're just continuing to work to get everyone back. Do you think that when that happens, when you get most everyone back, at least, it could be as simple as just just get one or two, and then this thing is, then you guys will find that rhythm again? Do you think it could be as simple as that? Yeah, I don't think. Like I said, you know, I, I know this team is, is special. Um, you know, coming into the year's training camp, you know, this team is as good as, as the last year's team that I was on. You know, we... We have a great group of guys in this locker room that want to win and you know want to get better every single day. And like I said, we we just sitting here with the you know dealing with the control with what we control and um, you know things haven't went our way. But that's you know no one's sorry for us. There's no excuses. We're just gonna have to continue to get better and you know hopefully like like you said, one day we can get everyone back and and you know show show everybody what we're made of. Thanks, Tyler. All right, Tyler, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. They didn't say anything about the...